Hi, I got your plan open in uh, X9. I don't have Home Designer Pro 2018, but I marked the file uh, to be edited in Home Designer Pro if you, if, if you care to. <clears throat> and so I think, well, you're, you're going to overview. You notice that X9 and uh, Home Designer Pro 2018 are pretty pretty similar in terms of tool, generally. So there's your breezeway I, I think you're talking about, and there's the footings. If I was going to adjust the footings, I think I would use an elevation camera. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's pretty... Uh, Okay. So what I would do is I'd just zoom in. I'm going to draw a CAD line. Well, you got to, you got different floor heights here. <clears throat> I'm going to measure from the front door over here, which is at, at zero, and draw a CAD line. I'm going to take that CAD line and use transform replicate make a copy of that and move it straight down minus 48 inches. So I, if I understood you correctly, <clears throat> you're saying that these footings, now let me explain what I'm doing. I'm left clicking on that and then hitting the tab key to get the wall polyline of the footing. And I can just drag it down and snap it to the line. That makes for relative to floor zero of the first floor, a four foot uh, stem wall, and then on top of a footing. Now, if I've misunderstood you, I've misunderstood you, but uh, I'm gonna go to the next one, snap it to the line. After a while, I'm not gonna be able to see it, those behind. Let's see, I can take this one, tab key, and got an extra break in the lines right here. I'm just gonna pull it down and snap it to the blind. Okay, now that all those that I could see are lined up. So now I'm gonna close this view, and not gonna save it. <clears throat> I'm gonna go, do a cross section through this part of the house. 90 degrees to my prior view. Yeah, I can't really see what I'm doing. I think I want, I'll just go a little bit closer to the edge. Now I lined up the front wall, the one on the right in this view. That one's at four feet. So now I can just click on that, hit the tab key. Now, I'm not a computer programmer, but I, and I can't explain to you why the program does some of the things it does. See, this one needs to appear, it needs to be adjusted. Uh, but the software reacts to your settings. If your settings are wrong, then it's going to do chaotic things. That I know for certain because I've seen it so many countless times. I'm going to do another one at a 45 degree angle. Well, over here, I've got the outside stem wall at four feet. Let's see. Well, it's a little complicated, <laughs> but I think, uh, click on that, hit the tab key, bring it down. Now, as automatic, automatic dimension isn't measuring to where any point that I would want to measure from, if it was measuring from here, which is where I wanted to get to four feet, I think it would say four feet at four feet exactly. But it, it's been a little, little bit of a laborious uh, process, but nevertheless, it can be done. Let's pull that down and snap it to these that I've already resized. And you can manually re reshape these wall polylines and eventually straighten them all out. Uh, I commonly don't do this sort of thing on my, my projects because I'm not a structural engineer, and uh, my f foundations are, are purely uh, conceptual and cosmetic, 
but you asked the question, so I thought I would address it to the degree I could. These wall polylines can all be straightened out. There, that takes care of the ones I can see in this view. You'd have to make multiple camera views to be able to view all these uh, stem walls. Click on this one, get the tab key. We'll line it up on this one. Let that finish doing what it does. And now, at least on this camera view, they're, those are all straightened up. And go back to an overview camera. I wouldn't want to try to do any of this in an overview camera or a, a, an isometric camera of any kind. I'm going to change this to a vector view. It's easier to see what's what in a vector view. And well, now they're all even, at least the ones that I've altered. But all these things are in Pro and in uh, Cheap Architect Premiere are editable. You just have to get them in the right, oh, there's one I missed right there. Click on it, hit the tab key, and you can see the move handles on the wall polyline. They're going against what I just said, but that would be pretty close. And like I say, unless you're a structural engineer, none of this counts for anything anyway. You just like your plans neat and clean? Well, that I can understand that. Okay, that's about all I can tell you about that. Uh, that's what came, what came to mind. And uh, I wish you some success with that. And uh, thanks for posting. Adios.